All right, we're back. I am mixing it up a little bit today. We're going to move away from Kari. Not saying I'm not going to come back to it because I do love that photo shoot, but I really want to talk about something super, super important today, and that's how my product photography changed forever based on one photo shoot. I talk too much about the actual photo shoot first I want to talk about who was involved so I was asked to come out and meet up with Donnell McFadden who's a good friend of mine and we worked together a lot in New York City and he was doing a collaboration with a store called Bronx Native which is the coolest little spot I've ever seen it's a little store nestled in the Bronx that just has all this like classic Bronx stuff right and you can see from some of the video that it's just an insane store so on this photo shoot in particular the goal was not just to capture these cool unique shoes that Donnell had designed but actually to take some time and capture the environment now Bronx Native is a super crazy store there's stuff all over the walls there's graffiti there's all these memorabilia from the Bronx but the cool thing was that these shoes kind of incorporated some of that design so when I was trying to play with these photos, I really wanted to not only bring the shoes into the environment, but bring the environment into the photos, which I think is crazy important now that I think about all these photos. You can take a look at some of my photos before I did this shoot. I can kind of see that I was doing these color matching things, right? If you look at this Corgi shoot I did, I took the colors of the bottles and tried to have those colors be introduced with other elements, especially with this shot here, with a tree, and it had all these cool, vibrant browns and reds, and I brought that in for the photo. But what I'm not doing is taking into account the atmosphere. I'm not looking at, okay, this bottle of gin belongs here. And that's something I wanted to change with this shoot with Don Allen Bronx Native. So one of the cool things that we decided to do was take all these elements from the store and start integrating them into the photos for the shoe. One of the first things I saw when I walked into this place was these two giant letters that they had on display. And I thought I had to get something with these two letters. So what I did was I put them next to each other and stacked the shoes inside of the letters to try to give a vibe and try to get something going there. After that I had this kind of crazy idea and I started asking if we could take some stuff out of one of the fridges they had. Now in this fridge they had a bunch of juices and drinks that were kind of synonymous with the Bronx, that were really popular in the Bronx. So what I decided to do is take some of the drinks out and put the shoes in the fridge and see what that would kind of look like with everything that was going on in the store. And I have to say these are probably some of my favorite photos I've ever taken. Along with making these kind of look like a product, like something that you could sell or something that you would see in the store, I started looking at some of the shelving units around the room and taking things off the shelves and replacing them with shoes. And with all the graffiti and with everything going on, it really, really fit. So I decided to take some things off one of the racks that had some hats on it and replace it with the shoes. Put the shoes back in, see kind of how that felt. This is the photo. I had Donnell sit down and hold the shoes, which I think is important. You want to see the artist or at least have some kind of connection with the artist, but the shoe should really stand out. The product should stand out. So I had him sit down, I had him look at the camera, and I had him hide his face a little bit, and we got these really cool, interesting results that I didn't really anticipate liking as much as I did. 
But with how it kind of worked out, we were able to shine light on the product while also showing the artist a little bit or teasing the artist really, which made these photos really, really interesting. So after this shoot, I kind of took everything home, did some editing and kind of figured out that there was this relationship that I hadn't really considered too much before, which is things that are actually going on in the background, even if you can't necessarily see them, it makes the product feel nested in what's going on around them. It's not just a cool shot of a bottle of whiskey or, you know, some scotch. It's a nested product in an environment that makes sense for this product. Now, you could, you know, go and shoot really cool photos in a dark room with just a little bit of light. I've done it before, I love doing it, but there's something about going on location and getting the shoes or the product or whatever this is in an environment that makes sense. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you haven't seen the trailer for Art For Wear, which is the documentary that I actually made about Donnell and about another sneaker designer in New York City, there's a trailer that I'll link below and we're actually gonna be releasing the documentary soon. We did a pre-release a couple months ago where I tried to you know, let people see it and let people get some attention on it. But now we're at the point where I'm ready to show it off to the world and I'm really excited about it. So we're gonna be doing some release stuff for that soon. Check out the trailer below or maybe I'll be able to get it in one of the squares right here and we'll see you next time.